Hey queens, hey queens, hey queens, my plant community. So I am going to show you different ways and how to propagate a plant baby. How I make my plant babies, right? So this is one of the ways that I love, 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 love to plant my, um, propagate my plant babies. Propagation is basically making another plant, right? or filling up your plants that you already have and just creating more plants. So what I have done was, this is the mother plant, right? It's not going to be such a long video. I'm just going to show you basically how to propagate in different forms. So I take cuttings from the mother plant and I'm going to show you a different video on how to take cuttings from a plant, right? So I take cuttings from a plant and then I stick it into water, right? So this is one of them. These are almost like single leaves. We got multiple plants in here. We even have a cac Thanksgiving cactus in there, right? We got pepperonias in there. We have a pictoscandus in there. And we have a popples in there as well. So, these cuttings I cut yesterday. As you can see, they don't have roots as of yet. I have a spider plant deep in there, right? And it's all about location on how I propagate them. Sometimes you hear the fact that you don't want to propagate them and water and then put them into lighting. Well, I beg to differ. The area that I am in, it's humid and I keep it humid for my plant babies. I keep it humid for all my tropical plants. So when you have cuttings as such, especially if they're in glass, if you have a heating mat, which would be best for it and give it lighting, okay? Give it that normal lighting that it's supposed to have, especially if it's variegated, right? Um, also, you can put it in a cubby, which I also have put some in a cubby, and um, it gives it that humidity, okay? So, the cuttings in water, leave it to humidity and give it lighting, okay? It treat it just as if it's in the dirt, growing and uh, getting roots to attach to that dirt, right? It wants to gain roots, inside of the water to find to what it needs to be attached to. Because lots of times when I bunch a whole bunch of plants together and they begin to form roots, like yesterday, I took some roots um, apart, which I'm going to show you today, and it was all balled up together, all different plants. I had a spider plant and I had potholes plants and all the roots balled up together to attach to each other. So just like, um, the propagation in water, they're looking for the where to attach itself just like dirt, okay? So we're gonna put these to the side and I'm going to show you, since these are fresh cuttings, we just did. I'm going to show you an old cutting. Now this, and which other one? Now this one, I allow to propagate, root up. I put it in water. All of these were in water. And this is a baby um, spider plant, which came from, I'm not sure if you can see it over here, from the mother plant over here. Let's see if you can zoom in. And over here. You okay. can Okay, so we let this go into water. We left it for weeks. Sometimes you can leave it. It doesn't have to be weeks before you leave it. I just left it for weeks and moved it into this. A lot of people say that you don't want to leave it too long to gain um, water roots and um, to put it into dirt. But 
A. Again, I beg to differ because of the area that I'm in. It is very humid, again, and I give it lots of light. So I allow it to acclimate. I don't water it right away when I change it to the dirt. I just put the dirt in, I pot it up, and then I put it in a spot. I give it light for a day, and then the next day I water it, okay? Because when I'm changing it from the water propagation into dirt, I don't want to soak it too much because you're coming straight from water, okay? I don't want it to be soggy roots. I don't want it to catch root rot or anything like that. But I'm going to make sure that the dirt is not bone, bone, bone dry. But just give it to a point where it's going to acclimate, in my opinion, to its environment, okay? Um, and these are water roots. Now... I'm going to show you another one that I did, and these are not water roots. They are roots that I just cut from the mother plant and I just put in the dirt. So this right here, I put it in a plastic so it can stay humid more. Um, because I had to think like my water roots, right? Propagating them in water. So I want to make sure that this stay moist, it gives light, and it just, I just treat it as if it already had roots inside this dirt. Make sure that it stays moist. Spider plants like to be moist anyway, but that's another video. So you have propagating your little babies inside of water, right? Keeping it near humidity, keeping it maybe near a, a, um, a heating mat, if you don't have a heating mat, definitely keeping it in a, maybe a prop box or a cabinet, but making sure that you're providing it high humidity um, in order for it to survive. And lighting, okay? That's another thing, lighting. Now, I'm going to show you these two that I did yesterday. And these two yesterday were empty, <laughs> technically. They were sparse, they weren't full. And to get a full luscious plant like this, what I did was I cut the vines, right? We cut the vines you cut the lines and then we just put it inside of the dirt where and and again I'm going to show you a cutting video on how to properly cut your plants and where to cut them in order for them to um, propagate correctly so we put them inside of the dirt and this is how we're going to allow these to to propagate and get nice full and luscious we're going to keep it, again, around humidity. We're going to give it enough lighting, right? And what I did yesterday, because there was old plants already, there was already old ones in here, the mother one. So we just added the cuts into the same pots. Okay, so we're going to make sure it gets watered, make sure it gets humidity, and make sure it gets a lighting. So let's put these right here. So we can get the lighting it needs, so we can get nice and luscious. And we're going to do an update on those plants as well. Okay. Okay, that could stay there. So, now... This baby, can I remember which one this was? This one actually has roots. This is the water roots from this one as well. So this one we propagated it on, in the water with weeks, you know. Honestly, if you allow, if you give it the right conditions, the right humidity and the right lighting, and you definitely want to give it lighting because this one is a variegated um, pothos, right? I forgot what we call this one. Marble pothos. 
You see how the speckles on that plant is, right? So this is a marble, marble queen pothos. And as long as you're giving it the right humidity, right conditions, the right lighting, then guess what? You're going to have a nice, luscious plant. A nice, beautiful plant. Um, what is the mother plant for this one? And I take the cuttings. This is how I propagate them. Because you can just make multiple babies from the collection that you already have without buying or breaking the bank, right? So this again was water propagation. So we did water propagation. We did um, cuttings and put it in the dirt. Now I'm going to show you a different kind of propagation, which is with Lekka. So these balls, right? They're like clay balls. And then I have water in here and look at those roots all those roots and again you don't have to let it sit for a very long time i just couldn't figure out if i wanted to grow this inside with leka or if i wanted to just let it get longer right so yesterday i did a lot of cutting a lot it was way longer i did a lot of cutting for propagations i put them in here I put them in there in the two um, plant, long plant um, rectangle ones that I showed you with the pothos. And I'm going to show you how I propagate them in water, right? I want to show you how to propagate them and put them inside of the dirt very easily, make a hole and watch your success happen right in front of your face as long as you're giving it the right conditions okay so we're going to use that as our sample and let me just show you this i made a ficus lyretica propagation from this mother tree long tree right here and i was just playing around not really knowing so what i did i tried it before and i failed having it in the wrong spot in the wrong conditions will allow you to see what you need to do differently next time you try you see hence try again consistency is the key so we're just going to cut which i'm going to show you in another video the cutting um cut the top of the plant of your ficus tree and then you're going to stick it in some water okay that's what i did after i think it was two or three weeks it was like two or three weeks and then next thing you know i was came back to look at it because i forgot totally about it i had it in spag moss in water so correction i put this in spag moss in water a little bit of water and i had it in a glass and then I put it right in the cubby next to humidity and indirect lighting, let's say, right? Bright lighting, indirect bright lighting. So giving it the right conditions, you can propagate anything technically, okay? You have to know what the mother plant basically needs in order to, um, make more plant babies let's say right so then after basically i propagated it weeks later yesterday what i did was got dirt and as you can see it's not all the way to the top put the dirt in there put the roots in there the roots were so big so much roots took some spag moss off of it and put it inside of a pot and plastic pot and as you can see most of my plants are inside terracotta but i want to give this a chance <laughs> because i am it's my first time being successful with growing this so you're going to watch um this journey together all right so make sure you're giving it the right humidity the right conditions and so forth so i'm going to be putting this back inside of the cubby next to humidifier and all sorts of things so now 
This one we cutting we did yesterday. We even have an aloe plant in there. So as you can see, I love water propagation. It just works for me because of the conditions that I am in. I love LECA propagation. I have other things inside of with LECA propagation. Um, I just started this propagation, one second. And it's on a heating mat. So I have propagations of string of string of hearts, peperomias. I have um, some stalks of the pathos. See if it could would grow. But mainly I have string of hearts in this propagation kit to see if it will do a little something. <laughs> Let's put this back. Ooh. Okay, so what we are going to do today is we're just going to cut And I'm going to show you, I just put it in there. Well, I wish it would have cut a little bit longer, but when you fill it up, you can have something like this right at the top. So let's get to filling this up. I'm going to have alcohol right next to me because I know these all these scissors were clean. So make sure you, you have clean scissors. You don't want to give any germs to your plants. So we want to make sure we clean the dirt off as much as you can. I'm just going to cut the dirt off. Now, what you can do with this is you can cut it more or you can, what I like to do sometimes is stick it in there, but I'm just gonna cut it so I can have more plant babies. I'm very careful where I wanna cut because I don't wanna get rid of these leaves, honestly. <laughs> When you have something like this, it depends on how I propagate. When we have something like this, we could just pop this in the dirt. But knowing myself, I would wanna just put this in some water. So, I'm going to get a small cup and put that part right there in my propagation part and force those down so I can give them all a chance to root. And you don't have to worry about breaking anything. If it breaks, it's fine. But they don't mind being fucked up a tad. There you go. You see that? Give it a chance. You see how that root baby right there? So when I give it a little bit more water, I just give it to touch it. It don't need to cover everything. Because it's all compacted, it gives it a chance of humidity. Okay. So as you can see, this is one of my old ones that I've had in here. And look at this. You see all that? You see all that? Those are beautiful roots. You can root that up now. You can pop that up into a pot if you desire. So 
So what I'm going to do is take little cuttings. So the more cuttings you get, the more plant babies you can make. And put it right, I think this cup is too big for me right now. This is perfect. Just get the size that you need. And we're just gonna cut more. I'm gonna cut this into two. Right. I always put them in first before I fill the water up so I can see what I'm working with, how much room. And because I know lots of videos, they show that they take the bottom leaf off, but because these are variegated, I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to stick it right inside of my cup. First, let me rearrange because I got this baby one down there. Stick it right inside of my cup. Stick it right in that cup. Stick it right in that cup. And because this one already has a root, if you wanted to, you can stick this right into a pot. But I want to get more roots out of this. So I'm going to just clean that dirt off. Pay attention to this as it's growing. And look at that. It's empty. But it's fine. So now let's get our alcohol. Clean our scissors because we don't want to transfer any bacteria. And remember this long rope I told you about? We're going to cut and we're going to stick inside of the water. Let's do it from. I always want to make sure I'm cutting it right because I want to grow it the way that I want to grow it. <laughs> so, we took two cuttings, right? You see how those are? If you wanted to, you can make this a little bit shorter. Just make sure we have nodes there, those little things that be sticking out. Make sure we have those nodes so when we put it in the water, the roots will come out and grow. And nodes, I will tell you on a different video when I show you the cutting video on what nodes are. Okay, so I'm going to take these little ones that have a little bit of roots, and we're going to, we were going to just, yeah, I'm going to put it in here so it can grow a little bit more. Give it some humidity, put it in the right conditions. Okay, and then we're gonna cut some more. In this cup 
the cup is almost getting full. Remember, as it grows and acclimates to what it's doing, it's going to, the roots is going to wrap around each other. Okay, this is so peaceful for me. Sometimes you're just in a moment of stillness. You're just in a moment of just listening. All the noise, you just cancel out the noise. All the worries you have. So we're gonna have a nice luscious plant update. I'm gonna show you how to pot these. Just stick that in there and we'll do these ends later. So now we're just going to add water to it. Make sure they're pushed down. I just feel as if the water way is the more effective way, um, but the Lekka way is not a bad route. But it's also a pretty route, but with the Lekka way, you just, it has to be at a cash pole. Like, it has to have the water in a, a different container um, along with it, because look at the spider plants. Hold on. See what I mean about how the roots connect? Look at the spider plant with the water roots. This isn't, it was only in water compared to it being in Lekka. All of this was in Lekka and it did that. So the water route for me is so much easier and it allows your plants, again, we're giving it the right conditions to thrive. So we would just put this inside of a container, which I'm going to show you right now. Let's make a plant baby. We can have our terracotta pot, put some dirt in it. enough dirt not all the way to the top so I can put the roots in there make a hole and again because I just took it out of the water I really don't want to wet the dirt and these guys can see me I really don't want to wet the dirt So now that's in there, but do I want that to be sparse as it is? Let's see if we have any more propagated around here. Okay, and we are going to add dirt to this. But I think I just like how it is with the two that's in there and i'm not going to really water it right now you can sprinkle something on top of it so the dirt won't be as dry but honestly 
because I just took it out of the water. I don't want to rot anything. So look at that plant in the dirt and watch it grow. So that is how I just plant from the water. That's how I propagate my plants from water, from LECA, or from cuttings into dirt. Okay. So you will get an update on the plants that I cut yesterday and what grew, what happened, what the humidity conditions were for them, and if I did anything different. So Queens, thank you for just taking time out to watch planting with me and just knowing and understanding how your plants around you can just make more plant babies on a budget. Listen, you don't always have to go to the store. You can make these babies exactly from what you already have. So make sure everything you do, you do it the royal way.